patch 4.7 is closing in, and finally, after one exact full year since patch 3.7, our Haven is getting a rerun. What's up, everybody? My name is Crytek Emma. Welcome to this video of sorts that I hope that I can convey well enough in the way that you guys can understand, because this is very interesting that I've held on to this thought in the process of what I've learn while playing this character for such a long while is that the whole comparison with Gilded Dreams and the two-piece two-piece is more strange than I give it credit for. The reason why I use it in those terms with a good enough two-piece two-piece EM build, a four-piece Gilded can never really compete with it. So you would need a really good four-piece Gilded to feel like you won't need to worry about a two-piece two-piece combo because two two-piece combo gives more to our hate them stats than a four-piece guild it does. Now, let's get into what I feel like should be talked about in this video. Two-piece two-piece combo with two-piece golden troop. When you see an I'll hate them guide sometime in the future, Look out for this. I don't know if the consecrators will talk about it, but I really do think they need to talk about it. You know why? Because I've tested this, and I can tell you, this affects his damage, and it gives him damage. Listen here. On a two-piece, two-piece effect of Golden Troop, two-piece set increases skill damage by 20%. Which... I'll be honest, you know, no one would have guessed that the skill damage would uh, affect our hate them. But, let's explain further. The skill damage that is affected when you use 2 piece 2 piece Golden Troop. It affects his use of the mirror procs, the chisel light mirrors. Anytime you have a chisel light mirror, it is affected by the Golden Troop 2 piece effect. And it is noticeable, and it does more damage than Gilded Dreams. Because Gilded Dreams, even though it's not a bad set, the four piece effect is not a big enough bump for our hate those damage than people give it credit for. Like, I'm surprised that Consecrators will tell you that you should farm four piece Gilded, which I do think you should. But I feel like you should be on the lookout for a two-piece two-piece combo if you have the scenario in front of you. Because if you can get a two-piece Golden Troop two-piece EM, it will propel his Chisel Light Mirror damage. More so than most other things. Now here's the caveat with using a two-piece two-piece Golden Troop combo with two-piece EM. That combo will only be able to affect his skill damage. His burst damage will do less than his Gilded Dreams counterpart, or even a 2PCM, 2PCM combo. It's uh, quite something, but if you're willing to get rid of that for his mirror damage, you will see a net benefit. Now, let me show you some footage of me testing the comparison. Since I have a pretty good Gilded Dream set and a pretty good set of my two-piece two-piece. With the comparison outside of like consistency, just look for the damage and you'll see the difference. Now, starting with 4-piece Gilded, my 4-piece Gilded is pretty good, but the comparison you should be looking out for is the spread damage and the instances of his Chisel Light Mirrors when they proc. If you're unsure what numbers to look at, I'll show you exactly what numbers to look at through both showcases, but let's dial it back to Gilded Dreams. 
Now, like before, we gotta look at the mirror part that go off. The end of the burst where it crits. The first crit here in the level 3 mirror. And then, moving onward, as we go through the mirror procs, we got mirror proc 2 with the same damage. And then, lastly, at the end, sadly, the level 1 proc didn't crit. But, anyways, moving on. Here we got my Pride and Joy build. Two piece golden troop, two PCM. Some of the best artifacts on my account is on this boy. Now, like I said before, mirror procs. Now, with the high crit rate from this build, it should be really hard to tell where the damages differentiate, but you can clearly tell from this that the damage is definitely higher. Not much higher, but higher. So, you see the difference is quite interesting. The difference is not the biggest when it comes to the spread damage that was shown. But when we start seeing an actual full damaging team showcase with buffs and everything, then the difference becomes more apparent. Let's show off the two separate build variants against each other on the first half of this 412. Doing the middle card here so that it doesn't affect the runs too much. Now due to the nature of this abyss uh, cycle with the stinking kankies, I really hate them by the way. They aren't the most easy to group. So sometimes they can ungroup a lot and it's rather annoying. So it really does affect a lot of like runs for me when I try to like test this. But anyways, it's not about the clear even though I did it for fun. The whole point is to see the damage difference. Well, all in all, this was just a video to show the comparison that two-piece golden troop, two-piece EM combo can be just as good, if not just a little bit better, for the most part, high investment was compared to Fortress Gilded. So, the whole point, if you have a good four-piece Gilded and have a good few lying pieces from golden troop, has some decent substat value like double crit EM or something, then you should try this. If you try it with just not enough EM in Al Haytham's build, you can feel not that much of a difference in damage and maybe it can sometimes be a little bit less than Gilded. Cause EM is still pretty good for Al Haytham. But at the end of the day, it is all good. And I feel as though it isn't really talked about much by content creators. I really do hope that this video can be shared to people and are willing to try this for themselves and see how they feel about it. Because it's very interesting when I discovered this trying to piece Golden Troop and it's actually quite something. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys share this and spread the word. Just to be aware that 2 piece going to 2 piece cm combo can be a really strong option on Al Haytham. If this is for high investment Al Haytham, not for 4 piece Gilded Cat at baseline, you should probably try to farm 2 piece cm 2 piece cm if you don't have a 4 piece Gilded. But 2 piece cm 2 piece cm can also still be better than 4 piece Gilded, because 4 piece Gilded is not perfect for Al Haytham's damage output, but it's good enough if you're not trying to chase other ways of getting double EM combos because it's not easy to get that especially the ones that I have but yeah thank you for watching my name is Crytek Emma and I'll catch you later